All right, so then for foundation, I'm gonna use my NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I always forget the name of this. And this is in the shade Tahoe. I hope it's not gonna to be too dark though. So yesterday we went to um, Shisha Garden, the Shisha Gardens. That's in Edgware, North London. It's kind of far from me to be honest, but we did go by car, thanks to Huda. And it was really nice. I went with all my uni friends. It was Zahide's and Karishma's birthday. You guys have seen them in my you know, uni vlogs. And it's just so nice when we all go out. Like it's just good memories and just nice, you know? And anyways, I really did enjoy like the whole vibe of the place. I don't do shisha. I just, I like the smell of it, but I just don't like inhaling smoke. They got blue mist, I think, and it did smell really, 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 really nice. So I'm going to use some of my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And also the drinks at that place were so yum. Like, I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram. But make sure to follow me on there. I was just posting some bits. I was literally like, I bought a strawberry candy crush drink and there was like, I feel like this video is going to be all over the place. Like none of my three batteries are charged right now. I might have to change camera in a bit. But anyways, as I was saying, I got this strawberry candy crush drink and it had like popping candy around the edges. And I was just casually like licking all the candy on the edges. It was just so funny. It was so yummy. And then I also tasted the other's drink, which was um, the strawberry daiquiri one, and that was so yum. Um, I didn't get to um, try the desserts, but the food was nice. I got like a Lebanese lamb wrap, and the lamb was nice, but the only thing is like one, f one half of the wrap was really full, and then the other one like was mostly bread, and that was a bit disappointing. And I got like, what, three chips compared to the others, but I just couldn't be bothered to like ask for more. Because I feel like we were already being a paint anyways, and I don't like being a paint to people. I'm going to use my Huda Beauty Powder in Blondie. This is the Easy Bake Powder. I recently received the uh, Revolution Palette, uh, the the Bi Petra palette, I think that's how you say it. I watched her video on showing the swatches and stuff and she kind of did like half kind of warm palette, half neutral palette. This is what it looks like. It has the actually matte black packaging that says Bi Petra on the front. There was one color that really stood out to me, but basically when you open it, like it's literally like a book kind of of shadows. And the one that really stood out to me is this shade right here, Apricot, I think. Yeah, I really want to use that today. Um, by the way, guys, if you do like really like scary films, um, I recently watched Gore. It's like a new Indian TV, not TV, Netflix series, and it was kind of scary to be honest. I like the storyline, the acting was kind of good, I really like the actress in it, I, forgot, I don't really know her name but she, I've seen her in, I think it was Padman, oh my god I watched Padman recently, that was so good, I watched it with my mum, you guys need to watch Padman, it shows the story of how like a man in India came, all the struggles he went to to help women get affordable pads and it's something we take so much for granted because even my mum would tell me stories how like they didn't have pads back in the day, they would use like cloths and Two is just so unsanitary and we just take things like that so much for granted and I don't know it's just an insightful kind of movie you know anyways I love this shade it's beautiful I want something dramatic today but I want something in the crease I think I'm gonna use this shade called pretty please it's like a warm brown and I'm just gonna Focus this on the outer corner. I just love how Makeup Revolution is just collaborating with a bunch of influencers and you know content creators to create these really nice palettes. Like imagine if one day I got to do that, guys. I think you guys would know what colours I would put in a palette. Write down below what kind of colours. Write three colours you think I would put in a palette if I made one. 
but yeah that would be such a great opportunity but you know who knows i'm using a orange shade called brick trick it's kind of like an orangey shade and i'm just gonna put that just on the inner corner the crease line and again just blend everything out wait i'm starving guys i haven't eaten anything it's so late mmm that's so yummy oh my god those are so addictive I have to put it far away mm. I don't know if you guys know already but I'm such a foodie like I love food so much. I'm gonna go into a liner. I'm gonna use the Technic Black Liquid Eyeliner. This was this is what it looks like. My sister actually got the waterproof one, and she really likes it. And this was recently sent to me, and it is a quite good. Is a quite a good. It is quite a good eyeliner. First of all, I need to like put some mascara quickly because then it's gonna just make my eyelashes dry with clumps of clumps of eyeliner on it. Okay. Okay guys, let's brush off this baking. Oh my god, I didn't even look at the time. I need to hurry up. I need to hurry up. Okay, I've been loving this Makeup Revolution, what is this called? Pro Bronze Fusion Bronzer in 35i, I think it's caramel. There's no name on it, but it's a waterproof apparently. But it's just so, just easy to work with, it doesn't go patchy on me. I do like a bit of colour. I do like to put some bronzer on the sides of my nose because it just adds a bit of like definition there because sometimes when you just put foundation and then concealer it makes it look a little bit flat. I'm taking that same shade of brick trick from the palette and I'm just gonna put this on my lower lash line quickly. I need to hurry up. By the way, the mascara I'm using is the Maybelline Falsies Push Up Angel Mascara. I use my Huda Beauty, I know there's like um, cream highlight on there, but this is my 3D highlighter palette in the Bronze Sands edition. And I'm just gonna put some of the Maldives shade. I was so close to not filming today and I'm so glad I did. I feel like this eye makeup is like dull like i really like it i'm just gonna finish that off with actually no no i'm gonna use some of my bobby brown uh illuminizer illuminating moisture balm in golden glow and i just put some on the palette literally kind of warm it up like so and then i take my beauty blender and kind of like dab it into the cream highlight and i just it on my cheeks it just kind of like makes the highlight more intense you know and I'm gonna use some of my Smashbox primer water to set my face and use my NYX brown lip pencil I put a bit of Huda Beauty liquid matte in Girlfriend. Ba -ba 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 
Alright guys, I'm ready to go now. I definitely, my mum's waiting, literally. Anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up. My camera actually lasted. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will leave all the links to all the products I used in this video as always. I try my best to do that. And yeah, I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye!